So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? I found two hauntings in camp. Fixed them both. Two? Really? There are likely more, but those two at least are ended. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan MacRaith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. More big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. I've never met my brother and sister. Wait, what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. I'd no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. <laughs> Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do.
Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. I can give no order, but you return from the hunt. Lo, the halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O oh great saviour. Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She is tougher than you. You're alive. Long story short, you just had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And Taya died. Your lost pains is. But a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. Is there news from New Eden Town? When you went to the meeting house, I gathered me flock and left. I've heard nothing since. Your faith in us gladdens my heart. I wasn't wrong, was I? But folk here still believe in you. What about the missing group of refugees? What about them? Kate told me they went missing before reaching your camp. Any chance they survived in the woods? Not the slightest. Otherwise, they would already be here. Those poor bastards are long dead. What became of those who stayed? Dead, or near it. I'm neither foolish enough nor mad enough to go find out. She thinks you a madman, or a fool. Maybe I'm both. Don't crow. Foolish madmen abound. Where lies the future for you? For the camp? For the people here? The plan was to walk across the mountains, but the cold put an end to that. For now, we stay. Till the weather lifts. The weather and the fear. They must feel the sun on their faces again and courage in their hearts. Who would not wish to feel the sun upon their face once more? You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. It seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes.
I'll hunt your beast, whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. Don't you have business elsewhere? Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Killing the beast helps everyone. Your sister only means to protect you. She traps me. I cannot leave camp unarmed, and she knows it. She wants me to give up my freedom and hand it to you. Not a chance. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. Measure your worth by your own mark. Your sister's estimation shouldn't matter. It matters. I do great work here, but my bull-headed sister won't see it. <sighs> Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. As do I, Scotsman. You may have the gun. Now be so kind as to leave me be. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half-cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. I'd be glad to help. But after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco and wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it, the eucopia. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Daniel. I do not. But I assure you that I have taken note of your demand. When New Eden opens to the world once more, then I shall move to meet your need. You shall have the finest Boston nails. The blacksmith may moan, or he may make better nails himself. This is the way of the world. A bright future awaits us, Daniel. I look forward to it, Mr. Paris. But if I can't get good nails now, there ain't no future at all. Good day to you, Squire Paris. Uh, thank you. But no, sir, it is not a good day. Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. A 
I'll bid you good day. The more I know Thickskin, the more I like her. Is it a kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. But is she wrong? Life can be cruel. Perhaps she's right to embrace the cruelty. Climb down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. How are things going? One nosy Scotsman the fewer, and I'd like it a sight better. May I leave the camp? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. Thick skin has a lofty reputation. Is it earned? Earned. Without thick skin, we'd be starved and dead. Even her sister knows it, and they hate each other. Do you know Kate well? Well, no one knows Kate Newsmith well. An old heartache sees to that. If your first love ends bad, they say, your heart never mends. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the Broken-Hearted Girl. Hurt people hurt others. Happens every day. Perhaps when this is over, she shall make peace with it. A target for your new toy. Ten guineas says you can't shoot as sweetly as you talk. <laughs> I shoot just fine, thank you very much. You were lucky. I am lucky. I'm also a phenomenal marksman. Both of these things are true. So, where do we find this beast? Well, not far from the missing settlers, I'll wager. That is quite the landslide. No way in or out. A mine. An old, abandoned mine. How wonderful. And our only way through. Reload fast. Here comes trouble. Try this on for size. Watch out! Spectre position! 
Why do I get the feeling that we have shit with bugs? This isn't over yet. Is that the sound of a corpse talking its gut? They never learn, do they? Spectre heading for that corpse. Try this on. I love these old underground places. I don't. Hauska Castle nearly cost me an eye. <laughs> Investigating the cellar was your idea, remember? Do you think this place is haunted? I'd almost welcome the distraction. Ah, seems to be stuck. There's more of them. 
They never learn, do they? Careful! This leads us back to where we emerged. Daylight ahead. I'll take it. Let's go.
It's coming for you. you throwing me around. Happy to be of service. Strange tracks. Something passed this way. Something huge. Hell, this is grim. The hunters became the prey. The bodies are uneaten. They weren't killed for their meat. Spectres did this. Their stains are everywhere. If this keeps up, there won't be a wolf left in New England. If wisps did they come back to bite, I'd almost feel sorry for these ones being caged. What are spirit snares doing out here? I believe we should come to terms with the fact that New Eden brims with demonologist craft. This is locked from the other side. Red, come see this. It forced its way through here, dug up all the wolves. And plucked them out. If the beast did this, then it must be bloody enormous. If the beast did this, then it must be corporeal. <sighs> Not even the younglings survived. What could have done this? Vengeance. Vengeance incarnate. Whatever butchered the wolves spoke as one, with many voices. Any spirits in borrowed flesh? Could it be a scourge? Yes, a scourge. 
powerful and very angry. than I would have liked. That howl, like many souls screaming as one. Huh? I thought scourges were rare. Have you ever faced one? Once. A trade ship into Bordeaux sank in a storm. The slaves came back as a scourge. To banish it, I made 50 pounds of Bane powder and shot it with a cannon. By then, it had killed the captain and half the crew and the ship's owner. Tragic, really. Ha ha ha! 